Before we start reporting blood films, it is important to ensure the microscope has been set up properly for use, whether this is at the beginning of a day or the beginning of a shift. Taking another step back, it is useful to know what the main parts of a microscope are and what they do. So in this video, we'll start by looking at some of the main component parts of the microscope and their function. Then we'll take a look at how to set it up so it's ready for using. The microscope you see is the Nikon E400, and though there are slight variations in the design between different products and manufacturers, the parts discussed will be common between most microscopes. I won't talk over this part, so feel free to read, pause if you need, and listen to the nice relaxing music in the background. If you are aware of the different component parts of the microscope, feel free to skip this bit. Now that you know what each of the parts of the microscope does, let's start by turning it on. Make sure that there is light coming through the eyepiece. Select the lowest power magnification on the microscope by rotating the nose piece. This might be a 10 times on the microscope that you are using. Ensure that you turn down the intensity of the light as it can be blinding. Once you've done this, close the diaphragm completely all the way. This is how it would look when viewing through the eyepiece. In reality, you should be using both the eyepieces, but for demonstration purposes, only one is shown here. As the diaphragm is constricted, it is obvious that the condenser is not centered properly. The centering knobs on the microscope condenser mounting frame are used to center the condenser. The two knobs drag the condenser diagonally so you can fine tune its position. I always find it can be somewhat difficult to determine when the central position has been achieved, and so I open the diaphragm to find my bearings. This can also be overcome by having a crosshair reticule present, which shows the centre of the view field. This process is known as cooler illumination, the last step of which would be to adjust the aperture for correct contrast. I have left a link in the description below for more information and in-depth steps of the process. <laughs> 